Hello, all of you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. My name's Ashley, and I am here to give you my match preview for the big one. It is Liverpool versus Manchester City, and, well, it is the... Oh, it's bigger than big, isn't it? Liverpool, Man City, all Liverpool fans are watching it. All of the City fans are watching it. All the Arsenal fans will be watching it. Um, by the time this game kicks off, Arsenal could be top of the table, so... As they play Brentford, I think it is, the day before, which is tomorrow, Saturday. And, yeah, everybody, all eyes are going to be on it. Um, it is, depend on who wins, how the result is, I think it will depend on where the title actually ends up. Um, I see if Liverpool win, I think they'll be favourites to win the title. If City win, they'll be favourites to win the title. If it's a draw, I, I, I don't want to say. So, yeah. If you're new to the channel, what I normally do is I go through a match preview. Like I'll talk about how I think the match is going to go. I'll then go through my score prediction, how I, what I think the score is going to finish. And I'll go for a lineup prediction as well. I've already created the lineup prediction and I will reveal it soon, uh, later on in the video, soon enough. So just before I do all of that, please, if you haven't already and you enjoy the content, leave a like on the video and also subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And honestly, every single one of you makes a difference. And everyone who subscribes makes a huge difference to me as a, a young starting channel. So thanks to everybody who already has. So let's get into it. My match, well, preview, how I think the game's going to go. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm a bit bold. I think Liverpool are going to win it, I think. And... I think it's, I don't think it's going to be comfortable, but I think Liverpool will put out a statement here, is the way I'll put it. Um, not a lot of people, I mean, if I, Liverpool fans are backing Liverpool, but every other fan doesn't, it seems to be, think, I've, I've been watching a lot of analysis over it, and who's, who's going to win, who's not going to win, how it's going to be won, where it's going to be won on the pitch. A lot of people seem to be backing City. I, I just think Liverpool are going to have too much. It's going to be at Anfield. City haven't won there for since 2003 so that's what 21 years um liverpool are unbeaten at anfield this year uh two draws i think and the rest are wins like it's that's liverpool's home form as it is at anfield like liverpool they've got the boost of salah coming back um sabos lie back both of them scored goals against sparta obviously salah was disallowed but, you know, Salah was on the pitch five minutes, had the ball on the back of that. It was given for offside. I don't actually think it was offside. Haven't seen a decent angle of it still. Um, so Boss lie back, scored a goal. Nunes, well, Nunes does that, doesn't he? He scores a couple of really class goals. He always seems to be about to hit form and then has a bit of a stinker. But looking really good at the moment. And I think even with the injuries... The, the, the 11 that Liverpool put out, I think, is a really strong 11. And I think it is enough to beat City. City, I mean, City have been great this season. But I don't think they've been the City of last season. I th they, I don't know. They just they haven't reached that final step, that extra little... There seems to be something lacking from what I've, what I've seen of City. I don't watch a lot of City football. But any time I have watched it, any time I've had an interest in their games, like I watched a bit of the Manchester derby last week, there was just there's just something missing. Like City are an unbelievable team under Pep. They have been for ten years. I'd be an idiot for saying otherwise. But this season, I don't know. There's just something lacking now. I don't know if this, you know, maybe this is the game that they'll put down a statement and just rock it off, win everything, which we know they can do. But I don't know. I I'm I'm kind of happy to be playing City right now. Like I'm really looking forward to the game. It's gonna be huge. And I yeah that's what that's how I'm thinking. I'm I'm just thinking City. This is the best time to play them. City can be got at on the counter attack. They're they're vulnerable there. That's how we like to play. And if they leave as many spaces or opportunities, gaps, how they they have been doing, Liverpool get at that, and Liverpool could take full advantage of it. So I that's how I think the game is gonna go. And now I'll go for my score prediction. As I said, it's a bold one. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for 4-2. Like I said, I think City can be got at 
Um, yes, I, I, it is a bold prediction, but I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that this is what it's going to be. Um, obviously, you know, it's a game of football at the end of the day. 90 minutes, it can go either way. I could be horribly wrong. It could be 4-2 to City. It could be 5-0 to City. I don't know. I just have a, I don't know. I just have a, a little feeling in my stomach. It's going to be 4-2. So that's what I've gone with. I think, like I said, City can be got at. Liverpool have the power to do it, especially at Anfield. The news of Klopp leaving seems to have riled everybody up. Fans, players, all the staff, everybody is ready for this. And, well, this is the game. This is the game. Put down that statement. And I think if we do put down that statement, I think that I think that'll send a message. And I think that's why Liverpool should then be considered favourites to win the league. Um, so yes, my score prediction, 4-2. Now, let's get into my lineup and I'll show you the team that I think is gonna do it. So there we go. Kelleher in goal, of course, he's been absolutely outstanding. Um Liverpool have well, they've left a few gaps in behind recently in the last couple of games. Um, Southampton, um, it's definitely against Sparta. Sparta could have had two or three games, uh, two or three goals, sorry. But um, didn't, thanks to that man between the sticks, Keller. He's, uh, he's definitely the world's best number two keeper at the moment. And yeah, um, does when Alisson comes back, does he get his spot straight away? I do think so. I mean, I've had a few chats with people about it. I, Alison, of course, he's the best keeper in the world, but Keller is really, really pushing for that spot. And long may it continue. Absolutely love him in there. Then Robertson um, at left back and Bradley at right back. I think the fact that Bradley only played 45 minutes against Spa points to the fact that he's going to be starting this game. Um, I also think that that knock to Kudate may have enforced that. Um, I think that if Bradley wasn't going to be starting, it would be Gomez at right back and Kanate in at centre back. Um, but obviously, with that knock to Kanate, it's not looking like he's going to be ready for the game. It was precautionary taking him off, like he felt something and they brought him off just as a precaution. But I think this game coming on Sunday is just going to be too soon. Um, I don't think he's going to be out for a long time, but this game is going to be too soon. So, yeah, Bradley at right back, then centre backs. Van Dijk and Gomez, it'd be nice to have Gomez play his natural position. Um, I must say, I do think he's better at right back or left back, but centre back is what he prefers to do, and I know he can do it, and he's been Mr. Versatile this season, so happy to have him in there, and happy for him to play his natural position. Van Dijk, what more can I say, Virgil van Dijk, captain, you know. Of course he's in there. Um, then I've gone with Endo, McAllister and Sobosly, that's our strongest midfield. That's what it was meant to be from the beginning of the season. Um, obviously, Endo didn't exactly hit the ground running, whereas Sobosly did. But then Sobosly sort of, I don't know, like he sort of went off the boil a bit. But then Endo really stepped up. Then Sobosly had that injury. McAllister was also out for a few games. So they haven't really had lots of opportunity to play together. But I think that is our strongest midfield, especially with the way they, they play now. McAllister is unbelievable. Probably signing of the summer for me. Um, Endo has been spectacular in that defensive role. And Soboslai is, well, you know, he's just incredible. You, you just don't know. Like, he's everywhere. He's just an absolute horse on the pitch. He just, he just runs and runs and runs. And then the odd time, he scores an absolute worldie. So... That's how I would line them up against City. Obviously, it has to be our strongest. Then up top, Diaz, Nunes, Salah. That is assuming that Salah's back. I assume he's back. He played, what, 15 minutes against Prague, uh, Sparta Prague. And um, he, he's going to be on the right, surely. I, I don't see it being any other way. Um, Nunes through the middle. Surely beaming with confidence after them two beautiful goals. And then Diaz as well got himself a goal. Didn't really work too well for him against Sparta. Took him a bit of getting into the game. Not It didn't all come off for him very well like he meant to. But like I said, he got the goal. And eventually, you know, Liverpool walked away comfortable winners. And he had a smile on his face. Because um, I've, I've seen it with him. He's been getting a bit frustrated lately. 
his performances have been there, but it's just like the finishing or what, you know, like that final, that final touch, that final pass, that final shot. It's just frustrating him. You can see it, but he got his goal and delighted for him, but he's going to be there because he, he causes just as much chaos as Nunes does. So that is my lineup to play Manchester City. That's who I'd pick if I was the boss. And well, yeah, let me know how I did in the comments, guys. So just to go through that in full, Kelleher in goal, Robertson, Van Dijk, Gomez and Bradley in the defence. In midfield, I've gone with Endo, McAllister, Soboslai. And then up top, I've gone Diaz, Nunes and Salah. So yeah, like I said, if you have any opinions, you have any thoughts, let me know. Get in the chat, let me know. How, and also let me know how you think I done if I chose well or whatever. If you've got any score predictions, get in the chat. Let me know. I want to know. Let's have a chat, create a dialogue, and get ready for this stream that I'm going to be doing on Sunday. It kickoff is at quarter to four, so 3.45. I don't know why it's been brought forward 45 minutes or whatever. A bit of a weird one. But yeah, I'm going to be live from around half past three. I look forward to seeing you all in the stream. And thanks, guys, for watching. And like I said before, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the stream. And until then, up the fucking reds.